Last time these two teams went, it went four. We'll see what happens here tonight, and Lang gets it across, and we're underway on this Friday night. Lang digs it out, Drunick can't chase it down. Point goes to the Tigers to lead off this contest. Devin Taylor, the libero for the Tigers will now serve. Drunick sets it to McDowell. Great job by the Tigers. Drunick up to Palazzolo and has it flirt the line to get a kill. Like we mentioned, Powell for Clemson. I think Palazzolo is going to be the same story for the Tigers. Now serving will be Monson. Olvero on the other side of the net for the Irish, one of the captains on this team. Gets it across. Quickly set by Slavic. Free ball here for Clemson. Slavic behind the back. Daly is able to power it through to get the kill. Last week, Clemson was in system more than they were out of system, and that's going to be a hard team. It's hard to beat any team that's in system more often than not. Gildon to serve. Palazzolo can't receive. That's something that Coach Rockwell touched upon earlier this week when we sat down with her, was how teams have been trying to eliminate Palazzolo from it by having her go receive the serves right off the bat. Yep, she's got to stay locked in and kind of keep herself in the play, even on an out-of-system ball. Drunick behind the back to Schrader. Uh, tried to get it across on the light tap. Up to Palazzolo, kept alive by the Tigers. Nick to Schrader, has it blocked. Manitsis came creeping in and finds the hardwood. Tigers starting hot. Have a stoppage on the court for an official review. I think we're reviewing if Clemson was in the net on that last block. EJ Swartz and Patricia Slavado, part of our ABCA officiating crew here today. Swartz goes over to the monitor to go take a look at it. Thompson leading by three here in this first set on a 3-0 scoring run with Gildan at the helm for the Tigers. Yeah, let's take a look at this play here, see maybe what they're challenging. I don't, yeah, I don't see anyone in the net and that, that's what the call stands. <laughs> Point stands for the Tigers. Challenge unsuccessful, but Selena Rockwell out of her chair to talk to EJ Swartz. That's an early challenge and a tough one to lose, especially. So if you don't win the challenge call, you, it takes away, it goes away. But if you do win the call, you get to keep that challenge and utilize it later in the game. Yeah, now Notre Dame will have one. Unless this would go a fifth set, you are able to regain a challenge if it was to go a fifth set. Gildan gets it across to service error for the Irish to end the bleeding, get them back on the attack. Now Fiona Schrader, an athlete that has done it all. I was just gonna say that. She's been everywhere on the Irish court. <laughs> Powell has it blocked by Tarnoff. A big block from Lauren Tarnoff. Take another look at that. A good read. Quick movement, hands over the net. Manitsis can't take it out on a strong swing for the freshman outside hitter, Kennedy Wagner. 
Lager to have act to serve for the Tigers. Both these two teams very young in their respective rosters. A lot of freshmen for Clemson. They're rather new, 11 new players to this roster this year. Both teams trying to figure out how they play together. Now starting to feel a little more comfortable now in this latter set of the ACC volleyball schedule as Schrader can't have it find the hardwood. And one that you would think Rockwell might have wanted to challenge earlier, understands that she has that extra card. She's got to go the rest of the game exactly with right. it. Exactly right. Service Clemson, error. Keeping, them, keeping the Irish in the game here. Now Sydney Palazzolo, second in the ACC in aces per set with a half. Really speaks to how she does it. ACC leader in kills per set with 3.93. And also be able to get it done from the service line. Six rotation player. Yeah, you mentioned how teams are coming after Sydney, but Coach Rockwell also mentioned today how it doesn't get to her mentally. She's able to stay in the game and move on to that next play. And puts too much on it. He goes out of bounds. Full Clemson get back to the service line. Throwing Adria Powell. For Nick behind the back to turn off. Powell down to a knee. We'll see a roll shot here from Clemson, which is something the Irish specifically worked on this week in practice. Clemson able to get it across. Kachenko rolling it off the block of the Irish. Powell darts it over. Drunik tries to dump it off, and it's successful. What a beautiful dip and dump. The sneaky little setter's dump, trying to get her team some momentum and get back in this game. Change the momentum now to get Tarnoff to serve. Pushed across. Tomajak and McDowell mishits it. On an attack error. It's again to have the Tigers come back to the service line. Red Duke just feels like they can't get on a run right now. Kind of feels that way for both teams, which is kind of a good volleyball <laughs> game at the end of the day. Isn't that the point? <laughs> Drunik up to Lang. A strong swing from the freshman Ava Lang. Gets a big kill. Once again, no volley really creating there. Back to the Irish side. See that big swing from the Irish and Clemson defense almost able to keep that up. Taylor passes off to the far side from McGrath. Lang. Great high swing from Lang on the Irish side. And digs it out. Drunick behind. Palazzolo trying to dump it in. What a beautiful pancake on the other side from Slavic. McDowell blocked. Junik up to Schrader, dug out again. Monson keeps it alive. Drunik up to Lang on the deflection. Point goes for Clemson off the hard fought volley between both teams. These long rallies are so important in volleyball. As you all know, it's a game of momentum, and winning those rallies can really keep that momentum going or totally change the course of the game. Graf gets it across. Lang. Strong swing from freshman Ava Lang. Her second kill of the night. Now she goes to serve. Twenty Daly looking for a tip is not there. Are still trailing the Tigers this time only by two. 
We've seen a few hitting errors from both sides during this game, but I like I like the aggression and the energy that both teams are kind of going after it with. I think the energy they provide is we already know what they're coming with. We have a better idea of we watched film for the past seven days on both these two teams. We played against them. We know what they can do. Allows you to focus on yourself a little bit. Yeah, exactly right. Palazzolo to Drunek. Palazzolo with a swing. Big, 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 big kill. And you can you can see it from the beginning. You can see this, her approach and the speed, slow to fast, so good. Received the serve, passes it, and gets the kill. An all Palazzolo play. <laughs> we said it, they're, they're aiming to get her the ball, and they are doing just that. Johnson to serve. Daly. Drunick has to chase it down. Palazzolo has it sat down by Powell. A little bit of a scramble play there, and she had the right idea, but just didn't quite get it over the Clemson block. I mean, Powell standing right there for you. It's going to be tough to <laughs> try and work anything across. That's a big block to get it over. <laughs> Drunick tips it back with one hand. Tarnoff gets it across. Schrader. A big kill for Fiona Schrader. And on an out-of-system ball. That was a set from Monson. Uh, an assist from Monson, I should say. Schrader serves it across. And the Irish have a work a point. Now have it back tied at 12 with the Tigers on a beautiful serve from Fiona Schrader. Schrader goes after Taylor again. A dump on the other side. Schrader lays it all on the line. Palazzolo. Wagner off the block. Gets the Tigers the point. Kennedy Wagner, the freshman. Played a huge role for this team this year. Double-digit kills in 10 matches for the Clemson Tigers this year. And like you mentioned, she is not alone. The team is half freshman, half transfers, so. This time, it's a sophomore and Mia McGrath working it through the block. Wagner now to serve. Drunick to Palazzolo. No one for the Irish can get there, finding the donut in the defense. And this brings us to our first media timeout, Clemson and Tigers. And the Notre Dame fight. was a lot closer than it actually ended up looking. Uh, you can see these power hitters here, and it's so far shaping up to be the same matchup here tonight. Playing with two kills tonight for the Irish. Powell haven't gotten on the ledger just yet with a kill. Wagner now to serve. Wagner whips it across. Palazzolo off the deflection. That's a perfect example of what Coach Rockwell was talking about. The serve came to Palazzolo. Not a great pass, kind of an out of system ball, but she was able to gain her, keep her feet underneath her, set her, got her the ball, high, high swing, and got a kill. That's exactly what Coach Rockwell needs and expects from Palazzolo. Palazzolo, after registering the kill, Goes back to serve. McGrath has it rejected. McGrath will try again. This time works through. Unable to get a deflection 
Irish pick up the point. Great idea by McGrath, though. Just got stuffed a little bit, but then you're aiming high off the hand. She's doing the right things. Powell has it rejected at the net. Say she came across the halfway line. Notre Dame picks up the point. We're back tied. So far tonight, both teams have been a little tight to the net, struggling to stay out of the net and not crossing that center line. Something that Jackie Simsekir wants to have a conversation about with E.J. Swartz. Down to Powell, just Big like switch. that. Her first kill of the day comes off a strong swing. First kill, she's making her presence known here tonight. She wants to make sure that first one gets into the ledger, has a little <laughs> bit of a statement to it. Drenick behind the back. Turn off on the slide, has it rejected by Mia McGrath. Powell, the Hubbard, Ohio native. Floats it across, Dockery receives up to Lang. McGrath on the deflection. That's a great out of system play by Clemson. The setter was way off the net, put that ball not too tight to the net so the outside hitter could get to that ball and swing high off that Irish block. Nick to Lang. McGrath again. Kernick, Lang off the deflection. Too far out of the reach of Gilden. Notre Dame now flips it back to their side. Lauren Tarnoff and the design major on campus. For the Irish, a dump Dockery gets it across on a beautiful dig. McGrath, Palazzolo with a dig of her own. Up to Lang on the deflection. Defense, defense, defense. This looks good. And McGrath finds the opening in the defense. They get the kill and it'll be a timeout for Coach Rockwell and her Irish team. The reason both of these coaches focus on connection. Your team's totally different year to year. You have to build some consistency, something that brings them together when they might not know each other for four years. After the timeout, comes in back to the service line. Lang trying to get over the block. Whistle will come. So the pancake was unsuccessful for the Tigers' defense. Now Drunick, graduate transfer from Georgia Tech. Strong swing. That's a perfect example. Perfect example of why the Irish need to keep Clemson out of system. This is insanely hard to defend and to block. McGrath serves it out of bounds. Let's take a look back at that last kill Completely for the Tigers. In system combination play. Really hard for your blockers, really hard for your defense, and only that play's only possible when you're passing well and in system. Daly with the hops to go up and get that and set that right down about as quickly as it was in the air. <laughs> up to Wagner on the deflection. Manitzis gets it across. Monson finds its way across. Wagner again on the deflection of Schrader. Now Clemson, four points away from capturing set one. We've seen some great defensive plays on both sides of the net tonight. Drunick 
to McDowell. Point will go for Clemson after the double touch. Referees didn't like that set. I didn't see anything wrong with that one. <laughs> Taylor has it blocked by the net. Just when Clemson's pulling away, they are making a service error and keeping the Irish in this game. Clemson today now four service errors so far in this young contest. Avic to Powell, finds the opening. Two away now. In true Powell fashion, she is all across the net. That first kill from her was on the right side. This kill was from the middle. That'll be enough for... But Thillian Berzant goes back to that culture conversation and that connection conversation because teammates can say that to each other when there's trust built and you know that you care about each other. Then you can kind of be a little bit tougher and say, hey, you should have gotten that or where are you in this play because you know it's coming from a good place. Holden has it right over the net. Palazzolo can't have it on the hardwood. Now Clemson at set point. Holden. It takes up to the serve. Drunick to Palazzolo. Johnson keeps it alive. Drunick now to Schrader. Wagner. Palazzolo with the light tap on the palm. Powell has it rejected at the net. Drunick to Tarnoff. Big point for the Irish. They're within four. Clemson still at set point though. Now Irish deciding their own fate. Coach Beer wants to have a conversation with her team. I've been hard offense to get in a rhythm and get that middle involved. Irish also getting their middle involved in Lauren Tarnoff. Look at that. Beautifully I set us up. seamless. I set us up. Seamless, Sydney. It's like it's like you've been doing this for a while. Both teams on 40 attacks so far in this game. Pretty even split. Dockery now comes in off the bench to serve. Someone that Coach Rockwell characterizes as a giver for her team. Wagner. Wagner decidedly ending the set. Off the timeout, Clemson takes set one, 25 to 20. We take a quick break. We'll be Thomas gets it across. Drunick up to Schrader. Wagner receives. Monson can't get her platform on it. Tigers open up set two with the first point. Slavic, preseason all ACC. Watson is there. Taylor, up to McGrath. Crater, can't get it into the hardwood. to serve again on the 2-0 scoring run for the Tigers. Palazzolo wills her way in. The Irish are swinging hard, which I like. That is going to be, that's going to make some errors too. And we're seeing, we're seeing those errors as well. Irish, seven attacking errors. Clemson, five attacking errors on the day. Daly works it through the block. Schrader tried to keep it alive. 
Just a powerful swing of Asia Daly. Graf, Drunik, to Schrader, responds with the power of her own off the tip. It's kind of the same shot, honestly, of both sides. We saw Asia do that, and now Schrader on the other side giving it right back. And that's what I'm saying. They're taking those high swings, which sometimes are going to error and go out, and most of the time they're going to hit the opponent's hands and go straight down, and that's a point for you. Sophomore. Kaylee Dockery in to serve and picks up a big point and ties things back up at three. Kaylee Dockery, sophomore defensive specialist from Murphy, North Carolina. Taylor passes to Daly. All right, Palazzolo. Manitsis keeps it alive, passes up to Drunik. Tarnoff on the slide, Manitsis keeps it alive, Tarnoff across, Drunik taps it across. Daly through the block. Up to Palazzolo, has it blocked, boxing came creeping. Drunik tried to get it over herself. Tarnoff flat-footed, can't find the hardwood. Another big rally that kind of forms the, the momentum and the, the vibes of this game. Both have gone to Clemson so far. Devin Taylor. Barrow. Bullets it across. Tarnoff. Wagner. Finds the opening, picks up the kill. Kennedy Wagner, now her fifth kill of the day. Wagner doing a good job of finding the holes in the Irish defense, whether she's swinging high off the hands, dropping it right in the middle, finding that ground. Too far out. Aces was there, though. Our referee called a lift, but it was on the first touch of a ball. So you get three hits per side. You cannot really get called for a lift on the first ball. And something that Coach Kerr is talking with the referee about, and she has a lot of faith in McKenna Slavic, setter, graduate student, someone who she characterized as Clemson Volleyball. Referees were sticking to their guns. No challenges for that one. Can't negotiate her way into it. Dockery and Lang coming, converging. High IQ play from Hattie Monson to let it go out of bounds. Tied at five. Really nothing like the feeling of getting a pancake. Maybe winning the point after you get the pancake. <laughs> Palazzolo with the service ace. Sydney Palazzolo staying dominant from the service line. Palazzolo again. Wagner lifts it over the block. Daly pushes across. Playing. Finds an opening. Flirting with the end line. And now a timeout for the Tiger. Palazzolo has it go across and picks up the point. Move that to a 5 0 scoring run for the Irish. It's a good service location. It's right in between the front row and the back row. And Clemson didn't know who was going to take it or what to do with it. Palazzolo puts too much on at that time as it go out of bounds for the service error. Setting in for one set, number 28, McKenna Gilda. 
Can a Gildan back out to serve for the Tigers? Lang with a strong swing. Ava Lang, the freshman. Someone that Coach Rockwell has told how she's matured throughout the year. Yeah, she might not have the biggest hops, but she has figured out how to hit those shots. She sees the court a whole lot better, and Coach has been so pleased with the progress she's had so far this season. And it's only going to go up. She's just a freshman. Our point for the Irish off the miscue of the Tigers. And another miscue there as the Irish leading by five. Lang's also hitting 500 right now. She can keep that up. This is going to be a career high game. Wagner. And we'll get the kill and plug the hole. Get herself back to the service line. Tigers go on to the serve. Wagner can't use the top of the tape. Notre Dame picks up the point. Now the fifth service error today for the Tigers. Notre Dame only has two. Something that's keeping the Irish in it, especially in that first set, but right now allowing for Notre Dame to increase their lead. Exactly right. It was a close first set. A couple service errors would have made the difference, and that's kind of what we're seeing so far tonight. Palazzolo comes flying in from the back line to pick up the kill. Trunick. Taylor sets it to Powell. McDowell. Big block by Charity McDowell and Fiona Schrader. When McDowell and Schrader are on target and on time like this, they're a hard block to beat. Trunick up to Lang. Lang with the force. Tigers struggling on the service even here, which is making the difference in the game. If they're not in system, they can't get the middle involved, and they, they're struggling to get this ball down. 4-0 scoring run for the Irish. Lang. Picks up another kill and a point for the Irish. It's going to take a timeout for Jackson. That was Simpson a Keir. tough play by Lang. That was a big six. Team to seven. Take a look at that pass. Here's this. She got her feet there. Swung high off the hands. Got that ball right off of Clemson's hands. Here's a little bit of net to her advantage as well. Yep. That's a good shot, and that's a hard, hard play to make, being so far away in such a crazy set. Irish on a 5-0. It feels like Clemson struggling on the service each side. Loading quickly out of their huddle. Ava Wayne leading the way with eight kills, hitting at 571. And three digs as well. Put together a complete performance thus far. Gonna be a good night if she keeps up this pace. Last week, Clemson need to had to worry about Palazzolo. I think might be a different uh, situation here tonight with Lang kind of popping off. Lang had 10 kills last Friday in Clemson, South Carolina. McDowell takes the free ball and puts an exclamation mark on it. I always call those happy birthdays because 
they just set the ball up perfectly for me to smash back down. A little present for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you did all the unwrapping in the air on the speed? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Iris can't get it across. Now Tigers, if you calm the nerves, send back Adria Powell. Transfer from Ohio State. Miscommunication from Lang in Palazzolo. Gets the service ace for Powell. Had one service ace last Friday. He has one here today. Almost made it two right there. Off the timeout. Clemson. Starting to gain momentum. Lang pushes it through. Again, and that's a great swing by Lane. Tight set, but got her feet there again and is able to use the Clemson block to her advantage. Jake, you said she had 10 kills last week at Clemson. She's already at nine tonight. Think she's chasing for it. On the slide, Symington. Palazzolo. Graf gets it across. Monte passes to Schrader. Graf has it blocked between Charity McDowell. When those two are together, together and on time, it's a pretty good block you're trying to get around. Service error goes Tiger's way from Manitsis. On McKenna Slavic. Serve. Drinic. To Schrader, a big kill for the junior. Let's take a look at that one again. One on one, taking advantage of that hard angle and putting it down in the middle. Slavic. The Sonnington on the slide, but it's rejected. Talk about momentum. The Irish have got it right now. Blocking, serving, kills. Playing complete volleyball here in this second set. Off to Simington. Palazzolo off the tap. Irish within three from capturing a set. Palazzolo was like tired of Lang getting all the hits off the block and wanted in on the action. Slavic to Daly, punches it through. Turn off, tried to go one handed over the net on the hook. But it will go point for the Irish after they say a Tiger came across the halfway line. I think her hand got stuck in the net there a little bit. That pesky net's always getting in the way. Graf showing a little extra emphasis on that one. That's a great swing, especially after a couple stuff blocks from the Irish. Keeping it high off the hands, getting that kill. A little court maintenance getting done. Make sure all the sweat is off the mat here inside Purcell Pavilion. Schrader has it blocked at the net. Try again on the other side with Palazzolo. Can't work it over the net. How much of this you look at? Clemson 
realistically, down 10 here, hours two away. How much of this is a, a momentum building next two points for them? 100%, uh, it, I'm not gonna say it's never been done, but I think this the focus of this set needs to just be getting back in that groove that they know they can be in. Tarnoff getting cheeky with it and sneaks it in. And now Irish at set point. Dockery to serve. Daly has it go out of bounds. Irish even the sets at one apiece. We got a good one brewing here. In the ace is a good way to start that third set. Manitsis. To Daly. Palazzolo. Wagner. Back tied at one between the Tigers and the Irish. How big is this third set for both teams? I've Ultimately, you go up two sets to one, whoever comes victorious out of this. Exactly. I've touched on it a hundred times, I think, but momentum, momentum, momentum. And set number three is a huge momentum killer or creator. Irish back to the service line off the service error of the Tigers. Monson floats it across. Daly. Kernick behind the back. The Schrader can't find the hardwood. And Schrader is someone for the Irish that we've seen play almost every single position on the court. Has played center when Nicole Drunick went down. Played middle a couple games this season. Played middle when Tarnoff went down in the non-conference. Now in the opposite role, really has done a fabulous job. It's something that Coach Rockwell talks about as being, how can she help the team, a very team first player? Yeah, and clearly she's willing to do whatever it takes. That's a hard transition from a setter to a middle to a right side. That's impressive. Coach, she played middle. This is the first time she's playing middle in her career. She's never played it before. She's learning at the D1 level and having to go up against the best. So really one of those players that Coach said, she's an athlete, I can give her whatever she needs to do and she'll be able to go and run with it. Exactly right. Utility player. Dernick, Palazzolo. Powell comes in and sits it down. There's that entrance to the conversation we've talked about for Powell to have for this Clemson team. Exactly right. I think she's a huge factor in energy, too. When she gets pumped up, her team gets pumped up with her. Slavic tried to dump it off. Palazzolo with a little one-handed kill, potentially. Monson couldn't come in sliding quick enough. For Powell and this Clemson team, something that Coach Gears is talking to us, got to bring big energy into the huddle after every point. She emphasized the energy you bring into the huddle is the energy that goes out of the huddle. I'm so glad that you brought that up because that's something that struck me so strongly in our conversation with her this morning. That is just so important to take note of as a coach and a player. Like what you put in is what you get out. Were you a big person, big energy going into the huddle? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I was more quiet. <laughs> Palazzolo with some big energy on the kill there to quiet the Clemson attack. Big swing from Palazzolo, able to get her feet behind her. Again, similar to the beginning of the match. Perfect approach, slow to fast. Got that kill. Dockery hits the service error. Just needed a couple more inches on it, get it over the tape. Now Kennedy Wagner, the Hoosier native from Valparaiso. Now to serve. That's service error. Notre Dame within four. 
and one of their most trusted servers now, Palazzolo, to try and start their attack. Slavic to Powell. A light tap, but it's effective. Good play by Clemson. That's kind of evidence of them maybe not a perfect pass, but still in system and still running that middle, which is extremely difficult to defend. Wang, off the deflection. Drunik, back up to the freshman. Drunik to the back line push from Palazzolo. He comes down and is able to pick up the kill. She came down a little bit funky, taking a moment to make sure she's all right. Comes off a little gingerly, so go talk to the athletic training staff. Something that all Irish fans hold their breath about for Sydney Palazzolo, who's been so good for the Irish, but looks like she's just right back into the huddle. Now Tarnoff to serve. Serving for the Irish, Warren Tarnoff. Plavik. Palazzolo to the ground with the dig. Lang. Taylor gets a forearm on it. Sat down by the freshman. That's what I call, what do I call those? A happy birthday. <laughs> Got the present. <laughs> Turnick dumps it off. Holden was there. Keep it alive. Big block from Charity McDowell. Big block. I can tell Kachenko's getting a little angry and trying to get that ball down hard. I think that was a critical play for the Irish. Packed Purcell Pavilion here today, bringing all the loud environment it can bring. We got a, a few Clemson fans here too, which is pretty crazy. That's some dedication. That's a travel. That is a tough travel. There's no direct flights. <laughs> Slava gets it over the net. Drunik to Lang. Palazzolo goes chasing it down. Can't get there in time. Aja Daly with the kill. Good block by Clemson and a needed block by Clemson. Slava over the net. Drunik. McDowell on the slide. Daly, I'll get it over. Irish will be able to set up their system. Lang, off the fingertips. Taylor now to Daly. Big block from Ava Lang. The freshman continuing to have a game right now. Bench is feeling it as well. It's loud in here. It's loud here in Purcell. Daly. Nick passes to Lang. Grath. Schrader, point goes. The Irish is way after it sneaks in and. Right down that line and right in the corner. Coach Gear thought about a challenge, but we'll continue playing. Watson able to take it off to try to sit it down. Goes out of bounds. Irish get lucky. No one was on the back line behind Palazzolo just out of her reach. Are they going to challenge 
Deflection. It, actually, I think it's going to go point Tiger. for the Tigers off the deflection. As it they think the will. Touched it and then went flying out. Okay, let's take a look. All right, good dig. I think they said Palazzo touched it. Yeah. Don't worry, though. It's a response on the other side of the net. Doesn't matter. Irish pick up the point anyway. Lang's on fire tonight, especially when a one-on-one -on -one block and she smashes that right down into the middle of the court. Ang leading the way for the Irish with 11 kills. Wagner stepping forward. We'll say Notre Dame came across the net. Get Taylor back to serve. We're playing some tight to the net volleyball tonight. And that's resulting in a lot of net violations. A lot of whistles. <laughs> Great to Paolo Zolo. Paolo sits it down. Tigers leading by four. Taylor gets it over. Drunik. Up to Schrader, and Tigers find a response. I mean, set three, she should keep this up, and she's going to take the Tigers pretty far tonight. Then on the other side for Notre Dame, it's another freshman in Ava Lang with 11 kills, leading both teams, hitting at 435, another strong hitting percentage. Also insane. Watch out for the freshmen here today. They got a lot to prove. Battle of the freshmen here tonight. I like it. Palazola. Through it to McDowell. Wagner has it go off of Nicole Drunick's hands. Uh, Wagner confirming everything we just said, hitting it home. Now in double digits for kills. Palazzolo, Trunic. Kreider. Slavic, set into Powell. Blocked by Palazzolo. Can't get the block back into fair territory. It'll be a timeout for the Irish to talk things over. We were talking about last Friday, and now that's all we can talk about. And I think that's so very cool and very special. And like I said, encouraging for these coaches. Look at Wagner doing it both on offense and defense. And something that Coach Gear talked about us was how happy she believed her team had depth. Everyone could play at any given moment. And Anyone could have that breakout night. For tonight, it appears to be Wagner. Exactly. Wagner tried to get it over the block. Sample now in at the setting position with Drunick also in. On a 6-2 here for the Irish. They pick up the offense. Now is the time to give a little bit of a different look, switch things up, different energy, different vibe on the court. Monson, go over the net. Taylor passes to Wagner. Palazzolo keeps it alive. Sample gets it across. Harmony, Sample. Great court awareness. Fresh in the game, but you can tell she's been locked in the whole time. Very aware of where she's putting that ball. Clemson's going to take one of their own timeouts to respond to the Irish's 6-2. The campus involved is just going to spitball into getting more dorms and more students here in Purcell, which is great for the Irish. It's great for the teams they play, and that's so exciting to see. Yeah, Duncan Hall went to a practice earlier this week. 
had the opportunity to sit down, be a part of the team, and they separated themselves for practice when it went to an inter-team scrimmage, and they were cheering with each other and against each other in that inter-team scrimmage, trying to create a loud environment for the team to play in at practice. That's too funny. Love that dedication. Anything happen like that for you when you were playing? So when we were here, the swim team would be sitting on the, the end lines, okay. basically, and as we got closer to 25, their pieces of clothing would come off and they would end up in their swimsuits. <laughs> Well, what? Where's the swim team tonight? <laughs> where, where is the swim team? They gotta ask. <laughs> As Palazzolo picks up the kill. And now to bring in Kaylee Dockery to serve. It's crazy that it's only a five point difference in this game and it's wild how few points that can seem like and how many points that can seem like. Wagner. Jernick chases it down, up to Palazzolo. Slavic, Powell has it blocked. Powell blocked again. Point will go for the Tigers on the net violation against Notre Dame. Once again, playing them tight to that net here, Sid. I think a big emphasis for me as a coach moving forward in the next couple sets would be stop getting in the net. That's a controllable. We can fix that. Goes out of bounds. Notre Dame picks up the point. Get Palazzolo to serve. Something that both coaches echo to us throughout the week was controlling the controllables. We understand how our team can play and focusing on ourselves because we don't need to worry about the other team as much as Lang just couldn't check it down. Clemson's able to pick up the point. They know it, they're already coming. They've scouted the team, they played the team. Now you can really focus on yourself. Exactly, I think that's a huge thing to focus on this when we just played, like they played a week ago. I think that's a big message of Clemson or the Irish will do whatever they're gonna do, but we need to focus on our side of the net. That's especially because these teams are so evenly matched, it seems tonight. You controlling what you can control and you doing your individual job will help your team get that job done. Service error on the Irish. Gets the Tigers four points away from grabbing this third set. Slavic, Dockery. Up to Lang. Notre Dame's able to pick up the point off the four hits called against the Tigers. Lang and Wagner are definitely taking care of business on the outside and the opposite, but I'd love to see both teams get their middles a little bit more involved when they're in system. Sambo back onto the court for the Irish. Graf, Jernick, Johnson, to Palazzola. Taylor passes up to McGrath. Freshman leg. Now to Daly. Sample has it rejected at the net by Symington. It'll be a timeout from Notre Dame to use their second timeout. You can see this right down for Sample. Critical play, I think, at a critical point. Comes and outfits, three position, saying one of her leadership committees got to be a little bit of interior, di interior designers and have that say yeah. into what they wanted. Yeah, very cool that they got to kind of keep Get, get the team involved in this thing that's gonna affect the volleyball team for the rest of time. And it's also gonna affect the rest of their community as well. You saw the videos of an updated strength and conditioning gym as well. And then they also will move in the arc, which will be the athlete wellness center for the Tigers on campus for all its varsity athletic endeavors. 
Exciting things to come for the Clemson Tigers. I think they are aiming to have it ready for next season. Yes. Tigers pick up the point. That's why they wanted those three extra weeks so that they could have a little bit of extra leeway as everyone knows construction doesn't always go according <laughs> to plan. What? No way. <laughs> Service error keeps Notre Dame in this third set. Now a little bit, try and claw themselves into it. Lissabonitsis, freshman, look to help the Irish out, create that momentum. Wagner. They're to Palazzolo. Dowell tries to get it over. Great play from Taylor. Trying the same thing. Both getting that roll shot right there in the middle of the court. Both defenses are picking it up. And eats this. Tug it out. Now to Palazzolo, who able to find the hardwood. Sydney Palazzolo. Snuck it through that right side's hands right down the line. That's a hard shot to defend because that's the shot the blocker is supposed to be taking. It's this low serve over. Palazzolo with the tap. <laughs> All in the wrist there, said. It was almost so straight down that McDowell, she was there, but her team wasn't ready for her to be there. Time out here for getting that water, catching their breath, getting their composure, and coming back out here. Martin and Rockwell talking things over. Almanitsis. Here's the whistle, serves it across. Daly Get finds the opening. Involved. And now Tigers sit at set point. Taylor now to serve. Drunick up to Palazzolo, goes out of bounds. Notre Dame back to the attack. Fights to see another day. Lives to see another day. Notre Dame down four. Otak to Daly. Drunick. Turn off. Joust it across. Now Wagner. Off the deflection, turn off, has it go out of bounds. Clemson goes up two sets to one, winning the third set by fuck lock. Come on, we like it here too. You get to say rejection. You, you've got some great calls in there. McGrath works it through the block, picks up the kill, and the Tigers their first point. Bobic. Gets it over, just out of the reach of Benitez, who couldn't get under it. Kind of Slavic. Sports communications graduate student. Runic chases it down, up to Palazzolo. How's it going to bounds? Tigers on a 3-0 scoring run to start off this fourth set. These two teams met last Friday. It was a four-set match in favor of the Tigers. Drunick up to Sample, and Harmony Sample with her second kill of the day. Irish needed that point. You don't want to get down a big amount in the fourth set when you're just coming off a loss of the set before that. Tink gets it over on the serve. Daly trying to sneak it over the block and does. 
That roll shot was working last Friday, and it's working this Friday as well, something the Irish need to key in on, and I know they worked on it in practice too. McGrath. Palazzolo finds the back corner. It's the Irish back onto the attack. That's not the flashiest swing, but that is gonna get a kill nine out of 10 times. Deep into that back corner is so, so, so hard to stop. Taylor, chase it down, Wagner, trying to find an opening. Drunik dumping off, Slavic was there to protect. Daly pushes off to the back. And he just digs it out. Palazzolo has it sat down trying by Daly. Trying to give Clemson that little roll shot right in the middle, right back to them, but didn't quite get it over that Clemson block. Block was timed well. That's a big block in front of you with Powell and Daly. It's this, Drunick. Turn off in motion. Wagner trying to get into their back corner. Palazzolo pushes it across. Point goes to the Irish. To the Clemson Notre Dame's was way. In the Nets. Playing tight again. That that they're lucky. That one turned out in their favor. Both teams fighting for it at the net today. Bobic. Up to Powell, Dockery. Taylor comes in sliding. Daly gets a deflection. Big swing from Daly. Kenny Gilden in to serve. Freshman, second best libero by prep volleyball. The 2023 class playing a big part of the serving attack for the Tigers there. Our serves able to reap a point for Clemson. A season high 11 digs last time Notre Dame and them meet. Powell taps it down. Now that's a ball she could have smashed down in a happy birthday-esque manner, but she was smart, had court awareness, and got that ball on the ground and the points that her team needed. Had the IQ not to have her eyes get too big exactly. for Exactly. Notre Dame going a little stagnant here. Lauren Tarnoff now to serve. Robert. Up to Powell. Drunick. McDowell out of deflection. Irish pick up the point. Far enough to serve again. I like seeing the middles getting involved. Both sides, both sides. Tarnoff serves it into the net. Turning the ball back over to the Tigers. Vaselli in to the game for the Tigers. Vaselli, the sophomore defensive specialist. Wang gets it by Vaselli. Notre Dame within three. Captain Cole Drunick to serve. Drunick right now fifth in the ACC with nine point. Eight assists per set on a big kill for the Tigers. Kachenko. Kachenko, kind of been a little quiet tonight. This is a good time for her to get back into it. And that's a monster swing. Drake, up and over to Lang. 
and another point off the back of Ava Lane. That's a good swing, because that's a big block in front of her. Simington and Kachenko, they were together, and that's a good high swing off their hands. Kachenko has it rejected. Kachenko again. Off. One sided weekend for them, one game here on Friday. Don't play a Sunday. Watson, Palazzolo. Palazzolo with a high IQ find in the defense. Gets it down. Again, a very even game. Where Clemson's at 38 kills to the Irish is 39. Paddington can't have the deflection they look for. Notre Dame picks up the point. Only two back now with the Tigers. But I think the card will come, and it will come. They're going to challenge the deflection. And Simpson Q wants to go. Let's see. This is Clemson's first challenge, correct? I believe so. All right, let's see this hit high off the hands. Not the best angle to see. Question is, Did, uh, do you see the ball move different rotation? Or see their fingers move? Oh. Ooh. Is there enough there? Go. Ooh. That pinky that of Harmony Sample. Sample's pinky is exactly what I was looking at. Oh, they we're will, right. They will rule the deflection. It was enough for EJ Swartz at the monitor to overturn it. And remember, that means Clemson gets to keep that challenge. It was not a, a wasted challenge call. So they have that moving into any other sets that we jump into. Get the clinical sorted out over at the scoring table between A.J. Swartz and the official score. As uh, so they'll get the subs to come in, Wagner coming back onto the court with McGrath now to serve. And McGrath, father played football for Western Kentucky and Hilltoppers. Arnoff gets it over. Kernick back up to Sample. Taylor's looking for it. McGrath will just get it across. Notre Dame will allow to set up their system. Palazzolo tried to go over the block and gets the deflection. That's such a good high swing. That there's literally nothing that you can do differently as a defensive team to stop that. One of my coaches used to say, you, you'll live a good life hitting it high off the blocker's hands about 10 times a day. Langton <laughs> <laughs> in motion. Palazzolo tried to turn the corner with it. Goes out of bounds, though. Now Taylor to serve. Notre Dame, who had worked it to two. Now starting to see the Tigers pull away. Good serve. Palazzolo, hard attack. Watson passes to Palazzolo, off the block. Palazzolo gets the kill. I know she tweaked an ankle or something in the other set, but it doesn't seem to be slowing her down in the slightest. Leading the Irish, the Irish with 17 kills. And a service ace for Sydney Palazzolo. Powell able to get the point for Clemson. 
Off the touch of the Irish. Going back in. We say Powell's been quiet tonight, yet she still has six kills. That's not nothing. Wang. Who's chasing it down, now back up to Wagner. Off the antenna. Notre Dame's able to get the point. Once again, Irish back within two. Back within two. We got a dog fight here tonight. Maybe a tiger fight. A tiger? <laughs> A tire, a cap fight? <laughs> Wagner passes to McGrath. Drunick to Wang. Bobak's going to chase it down, tries to dump it across. Dockery was there, though. Taylor to McGrath. Up to Wagner. Notre Dame picks up the point, now within one. Looks like we might have another challenge. Did Notre Dame touch that ball? Let's take another look. <laughs> you just swore it's back over to the monitor. <laughs> Coach Gear not happy with the call. Also allowing the challenge. Get to use a, get to use a challenge without using a timeout, especially how it this set looking to go between the two teams is. Take a look. Let's see here. Mm, that looks pretty clean to me. What do you think, Jake? I'm not seeing, ooh, but the ball changes rotation there. That's what I would be looking at. One of those two th elements. Necessarily, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see finger move, but yeah. another one is always that ball rotation. Will it be enough? Got to be conclusive. Yep, got out. Can't argue it. Oh man, I don't know. Ooh, that is <laughs> that is tight right there. Once again, is there enough there for you to say that that doesn't? Ooh, uh, that is I tight. I could argue either way. I think EJ Swartz having that conversation with himself as well. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be inconclusive. Let me say it first. Oh! It will go for the deflection in favor of the Tigers. There was enough there to have it overturn. And that's why you and I are not referees here That is tonight, why. Jake. And that takes us to our media timeout. Clemson leading by three. We got a good one brewing here in South Bend between the Irish and the Tigers stay with us here on the ACC Network Extra. That doesn't seem very conclusive. What did you see that I didn't? But like Jake said, call still stands and Clemson's serving here. Drunick gets a forearm on it. Monson will get it over the net. Slavic to Kachenko. Drunik to Ava Lang, but doesn't come in contact with any Tigers. Clemson picking up the point. Kachenko playing a little bit, little bit of dodgeball over there to stay out of the way of that one. Got to be ready, stand on your feet uh, every given moment. Lang, the tap back by Powell. Powell gets it to Palazzolo flat-footed and Powell sits it down quickly. Maselli staying on the serve. Drunick, Charity McDowell. Slavic. Lang tried to force it over. Oh. Tigers will come away with the point after Ava Lang came over and came in contact with the net, but it'll be a timeout for Coach Rockwell. Talk things over with her team in this fourth set. I think this is a calm down, get your bearings back, don't let the momentum keep going type of timeout. The Irish 
playing so strong, but it has been a game of runs here in this fourth set for the Tigers right now on a 4-0 scoring run. It is a big moment here at this timeout between both teams. Huge moment, I feel like, if the Irish can get this next point where it's still a game, we're still in this game, but 19 to 12 is a lot tougher of a score than 18 to 13. Take a look around what else is happening in the ACC on this Friday evening. Final with Pittsburgh. Take up to Magic going into the NCAA tournament. You're looking at at least four teams from the ACC looking to get a bid onto the NCAA tournament field. And one team that's on the outside looking in right now and needs a little bit of help is this Clemson Tigers team coming in sitting at 66 in RPI. They need to win out and have a little help. Irish trying to play spoils here on the service error. Notre Dame back to the attack. A critical point again that Clemson is keeping the Irish in this game. Grunick. Clemson has 11 service errors for this match to the Irish's seven. Watson. And we'll dig it out. Up to Lang, changes speeds on the deflection. Notre Dame off the timeout, showing life. Back to it, Coach Rockwell would have wanted to draw up. Exactly. Janko. Said able, enough of that. Able to get it herself with the kill. Now six away, Clemson is. Kachenko's got four kills tonight. They've they've come at a good time. It feels like she's had a big impact with only four kills. Watson gets it across on the dig. Kachenko, another kill, making her fifth. She just wants me to keep talking about her, I think. Then that that I think she does as well. Fuels her fire. It's fueling the fire here in this fourth set. All of her kills have been coming a little bit later in this game, doing a good job of playing good volleyball when the teams needed her the most. Pow. Drunick, behind the back to Lang, goes cross court with it. Powell just finds a way to get it across. Drunick back up to Lang again, has it blocked. Bonson comes in with a forearm. Chenko. Sample, flat footed, puts too much on it. Right idea, keeping it deep in the court, just put a little bit too much on it. Notre Dame will use the culture here in year two and say for Kira having the system having the culture implementing it and for both these two teams we've touched upon it throughout the broadcast tonight very similar in where they sit both in their preparation in their time as well as skill level which makes this match so good as what it's we've been able to say yep exactly right and regardless who comes out on top here tonight this has been a fun match for everyone in Purcell to watch because these teams are so evenly matched it's a good volleyball game Powell sends it over. Lucy Trump into the game for the first time today. As it goes out of bounds on the attack. Rockwell will try and change the look here. Drunick tried to dump it off. Drunick. Up to Lucy Trump, and Trump able to get the kill off the touch. Nice to see Trump back out there. I know we saw a lot of her at the end of last season. A little bit less so, so far this year. Anitsis. Slavic gives the Irish a little taste of their own medicine, dumping it off. The Notre Dame fighting to stay alive. Clemson within two. K 
Kenna Slavic. Palazzolo off the top of the block, once again hitting high. Notre Dame able to control a little bit more of their own fate. One point at a time here for both teams. Art chases up to McGrath. Through the block. It. Yeah, snuck it through there. And now Clemson sits at match point with McGrath. Back to serve. Tarnoff gets a strong kill, keeping the Irish hopes alive. Trying to route a comeback. Now Lucy Trump, the sophomore from Florence, Kentucky. Slavic. Simington on the slide, and Tigers take this one in four. A hard fought match between both teams, Sid. It's a good match, good game of volleyball between two very similar teams.